All right, guys, welcome to my tactics video. These tactics got me 18 wins. It should have been 19, but EA screwed me. We won't talk about that right now, though. Let's get right into it. These are post-patch tactics that have worked wonderfully for me. I have winning way more games with them, to be honest. Defensive style is balanced. 45 width, 60 depth. 72 depth is kind of nerfed. Like, it still works if you're a really good player. But if you're not, you can get counterattacked very easily. So I prefer to drop it down to 60 now. 45 width just to keep it narrow. Um, you know, you don't want to spread yourself too too thin in the middle. Especially because now you can play up the middle a lot more. Offensively, balanced direct passing. I mean, those are just the ones that work. I never see anybody else using anything different. Maybe balance, balance, but that's about it. 45 width uh, on the offensive because you want your players to be fairly narrow. So you can play quick interplay. You will have that option for someone out wide if you do need to spread the play. Like if you're playing against someone that's just compact in the middle. You will have that option still with these tactics. Here, I think it's six ticks for players in the box. I think it just gives you a balanced amount. Corners, free kicks. It's kind of personal preference. I like to keep both on two. The formation is the 4-2-3-1 with the three cams. My striker, who is Jota in this situation, I have on stay central and stay forward. I have him on stay forward because if you are getting team pressed or someone is pressing you hard with like 72 depth, he kind of stretches those center backs so they don't push too hard on you or it gives you a quick counter attack option if they are really pushing and then stay forward or stay central because you just want that central pass option because bruno won't always be in the middle or your central cam won't always be in the middle for me it's bruno and that's because bruno is on all defaults except for his positioning freedom is free roam now this position is crucial if the player you have here isn't doing their job this whole tactic fails it needs to be someone with really good positioning so for me, Bruno Fernandez played great in this role. Uh, I subbed on Messi sometimes in this role. He played amazing in this role. You need someone that's in the right positions because if they're not, it fails. A lot of the play goes through this player, but also they have to be the supporter on the wings. They have to be the supporter everywhere. So, you know, without this player or if this player is not in the right positions, this tactic fails. Left cam and right cam are both on comeback on defense. This kind of drops you into a 4-4-2 defensively, which is kind of what the, the best way to defend is. And then Bruno is kind of a free roam defender, so he just kind of helps out in the middle. Um, and then get into the box for cross on both of them, which just essentially triggers them to make runs. You want them to make runs instead of just standing around, so I, that, that's why. Now your two CDMs are both going to be on stay back while attacking and cover center. You're going to want your more defensive center, defensive, defensive mid. So for me, Onyeka is much better at defending than De Bruyne. You want the defensive midfielder on the side of your attacking fullback so for me bacha is my attacking my attacking fullback she's on all balance and overlap and she's going to sneak forward a lot she's going to get involved in the attack and she's going to open up a new lane for you if the middle is congested you have bacha on that far on that on that one flank and if you're getting counter attack you still have Juan Basaka back so it kind of shifts into a, like a three back but then you have that really good cdm who's kind of covering that side a little bit as well like floating around in that little hole and then like Wambasaka for me is on stay back while attacking an overlap. You know, you want him to still make a little bit of an overlapping run to help out and give you that option when you need it. But you want him to stay back because Bosch is pushing forward and you don't want to have just two center backs. And then you can get counter attack down the, you know, down the wing over and over again. And yeah, and then, oh yeah, keeper. I have come for crosses and sweeper keeper. I mean, you just want your keeper to be aggressive in this game. Um, the keepers are bad enough as it is. That's how I play it. But... The way, this game, the way this formation plays, the way this tactic plays, is it gives you a lot of attacking options. You know, you can play quick Tiki Taka. It's really good at counterattacking. You can play up the flanks. You can play through the middle. But also, it's very defensively sound. You know, you have these two CDMs that usually stay in the core of the, of the, of the attack and the core of the defense. They do both. Thing now, post-patch, is that you can use these two midfielders a lot more than you used to be able to. So now, Varane can pass to Onyeka, or Thiago Silva can pass to De Bruyne, where... They won't have instant pressure on them. They'll be able to turn and either dish it out to a Wobi or Bruno or switch it to Vasha if she's making a run out wide or even get it to Jota who can tap it back to one of those three. There's a lot of different options. I may throw some gameplay onto this video. But yeah, these are my tactics. I, I've heard a lot of good feedback. I shared it on Twitter earlier and they've been working for me. I'm getting more wins than I used to. So 